What is up guys? It's Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today I'm going to be bringing you the newest Kickstarter campaign that I backed. Today we're going to be doing a little bit differently. Today we're going to actually take a look at the Kickstarter campaign itself um, and uh, I'll show you guys what I backed and then I have a special surprise for you guys at the end. I actually have the prototypes for these watches here on the channel had the chance to take a look at them today so we're gonna take a look at them with you real quick take a quick cursory glance around them um, dive into the campaign a little bit but guys if you have not seen my channel before do me a favor go down there in the right hand corner of the screen and smash that subscribe button if you want to get notified of any new videos that I have coming out uh, as I've mentioned many times in the past if you've already seen my videos I release a new video every Wednesday usually about 2 2 30 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time Eastern Time I should say not Standard Time but definitely definitely guys if you like my videos go ahead and hit that like button smash that subscribe button post up in the comments below and let me know what you think of the watches that I'm bringing to you but today I'm excited about this one guys I've been waiting for this campaign to come out over six months now I first heard about this watch and first saw this watch back in summer of 2018 South Baltimore actually ran a promotion I believe I did a video on it um, just identifying the promotion and things to look out for with the watch back spring summertime and uh, I knew right then and there once I saw the watch that I was going to be a backer and I was going to support this project from the get-go and I'm so 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 excited to actually see this project come to fruition now the project we're going to take a look at today is the Torsk Divers limited edition automatic dive watch from Sal Baltimore watches if we jump over to their Kickstarter campaign right here you guys can see right off the bat I am a backer I was able to nail this one right out of the gate got in at that super early bird pricing of a pledge of three hundred and fifty dollars you can take a look seventy five thousand dollars was their pledge goal guys this released like a day or two ago I forget exactly what it was probably two days ago I think it released on Monday um, this project was funded completely funded in like a half an hour 45 minutes something like that completely funded this project is going to be a go for sure um, right now I've talked to Alan he's working on some um, stretch goals uh, so that's what he's working on now I think he's been talking about actually uh, adding some additional color combinations to the dial design uh, that type of thing now if you guys are not familiar with South Baltimore this is actually their second creation their first creation was a South Baltimore it was kind of a dress watch um, one of my friends Wade over at uh, watching at his channel he actually purchased one and he's the one that actually introduced me to South Baltimore because I hadn't had any experience with their watches prior to him letting me borrow his to uh, take a look at the channel I'll post up a link in the description section below incidentally the other thing I'm gonna point out is at the end of this video I actually have the prototypes of these watches that we're gonna be able to take a look at with you guys now once I'm done with these prototypes these watches are gonna be going over to Wade over at watching at his channel so he can take a look at the prototypes as well so guys if you have not already go over to his channel subscribe that guy knows his stuff he does really really good incidentally he also has a car YouTube channel um, that he follows his uh, his uh, endeavors with his Volkswagen fetish so uh, definitely check him out if you have not already anyway guys let's jump into this like I mentioned you can see right up at the beginning three hundred and fifty dollars was the pledge that I took now this is the Torsk diver you can see I jumped in at that super early bird pricing of three hundred and fifty dollars they have an estimated delivery date of July 2019 now I'm fairly high confidence that I don't have any concerns about them hitting this delivery date part of the reason is because I actually have the prototypes in my hands a lot of times when you're looking at a Kickstarter watch these companies might not necessarily have the prototype available yet um, they might just have designs for it and pictures that type of thing and them South Baltimore already having the prototype available they know what it's going to actually take to manufacture this watch so high high level of confidence with the delivery times on this one 
But if we scroll down here and take a look, this watch comes in two main case materials. One, it comes in a bronze and then the stainless steel. Now you guys know me, I'm not a huge, huge fan of bronze. Um, so of course I backed the stainless steel on this one. Look at the loom on this one. Guys, incidentally, this photo was taken by the Time Bum over at thetimebum.com. Go over and check out his blog. He did a review of these Torsk divers as well. That guy, again, another person that knows their stuff a great deal more than I have, uh, more than I do. Cursory glance, entry level, giving you guys my opinion. If we scroll down a little bit, one of the things that I found really interesting is that the stainless steel pieces, they're only going to be making 846 of them, um, but the even more limited edition piece of that is the bronze. The bronze, they're going to make only 420 three pieces that are going to be individually numbered. Now this is to pay homage to that SS-423 submarine, also known as the USS Torsk, which this watch was designed after. If we scroll down now though, let's see where we're at right now, see if there's any, look there's on the steel, there's early bird backer slots left, six backer positions open still so if you want to jump on on that early bird pricing it has jumped up to three hundred and seventy five dollars the bronze right now way past way past that early bird pricing and we are on to that four hundred dollar price range now there's some pictures of that USS Torsk the submarine that this watch pays homage to Guys, I'm going to post up a link to this Kickstarter campaign in the description section below because I'm not going to dive into all of this, uh, but I definitely think there's a lot of great information um, about this watch, about the designs of this watch, how it came to, how it came to be. I love just some of the little details that he puts, that Alan put into this case, like this almost louvered approach. Um, with the serial number plate right there uh, on the side of this case. I'm going to take some pictures of these watches at the end and see if I can get them to look as good as some of these watches on this campaign. How some of these guys get these pictures is beyond me because I, I don't know if I'm not creative or what the deal is, but some of these guys' watch pictures just blow me away. Look at that gray on gray almost sunburst dial with that steel bezel. Now this does come with two different bezel options. It comes with a sapphire bezel um, as well as that uh, as well as that steel bezel or bronze bezel. You can see the harbor gray emerald, sunray black and midnight blue for all of these different color combinations. Now there's the domed bezel and the domed sapphire bezel. For me personally, um, I'm really thinking I'm going to go with the domed sapphire bezel on these. Um, although I think the domed steel for my selection looks pretty sharp, I think I, I think I want that more traditional diver style look uh, with this watch. And if I had to guess, you guys know I'm not going with orange. I think it's going to be a toss-up for me between the Harbor Gray and the Midnight Blue. I think both of those look really great. I would historically go with that Sunray Black, but I have, guys, I have a lot of black watches, and uh, I need to keep adding some color. I won't get into these videos too much on here, so like I said, I'll post up the description in the, a link in the description section below so that you guys can check this out yourself. But here's a little bit about the features of the watch. This watch is actually running a Miyota 9015 automatic movement. Swiss Super Loom, that's C3 Loom on this guy. So we're going to get some low light visibility pictures of this watch towards the end of the video. Um, so you can see what this loom looks like in real life. The other thing that I'm going to do that I've started doing on some of my um, videos most recently, on the most recent video did, and I'm going to do it on this one as well, is I'm going to do a time lapse of the discharge of these looms. So I'll fully charge the loom and then we'll do a time lapse just to see how strong this loom is, how long this loom sticks around. Of course we've got that date window at that six o'clock position. Real interesting thing with this design is it does have a crown right up there at that 
two o'clock position, kind of offset, not a typical design. Um, and the one thing I really think is cool, and we'll look, take a look at it on the watch, is this is this case bulge out. I, I quite honestly, I don't know what to call that, guys, but I think it looks cool as hell. 120 click domed sapphire steel bezel. 120 click, we'll get into the click and the movement on this prototype uh, once we take a look at it. See through case back, water resistance. 300 meters or a thousand feet so this guy can go swimming with you can go in the shower with you can go in the kiddie pool whatever you guys want this watch can go with you case specs on this guy thrift 16 l brushed stainless steel or bronze cusn8 guys i don't know what cusn8 is i don't know a whole lot about bronze um my guess is uh that's that's a type of bronze If you guys don't remember that Miyota 9015 automatic movement is a hacking movement with self-winding ability. Has a 42 hour power reserve. The crystal on this guy is a double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating. Now we'll take a look at this crystal close up and see what kind of curvature we have on this prototype and take a look at what it looks like. Case size 43 millimeters, case thickness 13.8 millimeters with a lug to lug width of 48 millimeters. Now the lug size on this watch is 22 millimeters so for me this, this watch is really that sweet spot. Um, once I get 45 millimeters are up um, on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. They tend to get a little bit too big for me. And conversely, 39 millimeters, 40 millimeters and below, I feel is too small for me. So this guy right there at that 43 millimeters with a 13.8 millimeter thickness is right in that sweet spot. So now there's that picture of that automatic movement with that decorated weight right there in the back. Now one thing Sal Baltimore did with their original Kickstarter campaign is they included a watch wider. For those of you not familiar with automatic watches, they are powered by movement by that weight swinging back and forth and winding that mainspring. Now one thing that I think is really cool is Alan actually includes a watch winder with each one of these watches so these guys if you've never had an automatic watch before you're going to be set up right from the get-go automatic watch winder comes with it watch the whole nine yards you are good to go now one thing i will point out is you guys may have heard me talk about this in this in the past personally i do not use watch winders now i have no nothing against watch winders at all i know that a lot of different people have different opinions about it for me i simply don't use them because i have a large number of automatic watches and the automatic watches that i do have for me to put every single one of them in a watch winder would be absolutely ridiculous so i don't even stress myself out with that struggle plus the electricity involved with running that many watch winders I just don't I, don't, I don't want to get into that. So what I do is I just leave my automatic watches in the watch case. The other benefit of that is I have the, the pleasure of winding and setting my watch every time I pick it up. So you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, Instagram slash watchaddiction.us, you guys see I wear a different watch each and every day. So my normal ritual is when I get up, I pick out what I'm going to wear, I pick out my watch, pull it out of the case, I set it, wind it a few winds, and then I'm off. And that's just part of my daily ritual. So that's why, personally, I don't use a watch winder. However, I think it is really, really cool that uh, that Sal Baltimore is including a watch winder with this, uh, this one. Their straps, leather straps, they've always partnered for both of their campaigns now with Clockwork Synergy Straps as partnership. Um, they design the straps for these watches and you can see all the different color combinations they've got the vintage light brown they've got the vintage brown vintage black and then they've got silicone but guys you know me I'm going for that stainless steel I love the stainless steel bracelet on this watch I think it's going to be really really sharp 
the stainless steel uh, bracelet with that stainless steel case. Now you guys will take a look also it does look like this includes a diver extension right there in that buckle. So I'm going to be excited to uh, to get this one in. Yep, call it right there. So there's that diver extension. Now you guys have seen me um, review watches with diver extensions like this, uh, the ratcheting extensions like this, and a couple other watches uh, prior to this one. And... For me, those extensions, those ratcheting extensions, are a little bit hit or miss. If the if the tolerances are off just a little bit, you get a little play and you get a little wobble in those ratcheting extensions. So I'm going to be interested to see in how this one turns out um, when it's finally done. And again, two-year warranty. And as I mentioned, Time Bun did a review. Guys, so that is the Kickstarter campaign from Sal Baltimore Watches. I'm going to take just a quick second here, get set up, and we're going to jump into the prototype for these Torsk divers. All right, so here are the prototypes that uh, I received in. Now, when they came to me, they came to me in these watch pods. Quite honestly, I don't know what the final product will be shipping in, but they did come to me in these watch pods. So we're going to open these guys up. Now, the first one we are opening up, incidentally, both of the ones that came to me were bronze. Uh, and uh, I am completely okay with that because I wanted to see what the bronze ones look like. Now, this is the bronze midnight blue with sapphire bezel, domed sapphire bezel, uh, on that silicone or rubber dive strap. Now, Really heavy, heavy, heavy duty buckle on this bronze buckle. Has that South Baltimore logo uh, right there in the buckle. Does not feel waxy, does not feel cheap or plasticky in any way. A lot of give, a lot of play to it. Um, back of this watch, guys, you see that decorated movement that I showed you in the campaign. Matter of fact, let's zoom in a little bit better and. Uh, see what we're looking at. So you can see right there, they are numbered automatic. Sal Baltimore number, let's see, this one is number four of 423. Four of 423, you can see that Sal Baltimore design with that Torsk logo right there on that weighted crown. You can see that automatic movement. That's a really good shot of that automatic movement in the back. We take a look that case side, that's that 13.8 millimeter case thickness on this watch. Of course, the crown right there has the Sow Baltimore T on it. One thing that I think is really cool about this is just how deep that blue is. And you can see that sunburst effect as I move it around in my lights. Guys, forgive me, I know the glare on my lights is pretty ridiculous right now. But really 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 deep blue in that midnight blue um, doesn't seem to be any wavering in that color any differences in that color between that sapphire bezel and that dial now if we can go at an angle here see if I can get it you can see those applied indices now for me I love that depth I love the depth that you get um, when you have the applied indices and they stand off the dial like this the other thing I'm gonna note is that indice marker, the chapter ring around the inside, is indented a little bit. Um, so the dial, guys, my focus is horrible on this, holy cow. That dial does stand off of that ring around the outside and adds an additional depth to this watch. So that is the Midnight Blue on bronze. We're going to open up the other one here. The other one is an emerald green. So for me, I think that emerald on a bronze looks really, really sharp. Um, guys, I mentioned I'm not a huge fan of bronze, but that emerald against that bronze with that clockwork synergy, genuine leather strap. This leather strap is nice, man. Look at the thickness on this. You can tell this is a prototype that uh, has been around a little bit, worn around. 
Um, which is fine. I mean, if I had a prototype, I would be wearing it all the time also. Now, this is the difference. You guys can see the difference right up close here if I'm not fumbling around anymore. You can see the differences between that sapphire domed bezel as well as that just domed bronze bezel. Now, as I mentioned before, these are 120 click unidirectional movements. I'm sorry, unidirectional bezels. Real solid click to it. Doesn't feel like there's any play in that bezel whatsoever, which I'm kind of surprised at for a prototype. I mean, the the tolerances that this prototype was built to, I think, is uh, is pretty slick. So these are the prototype guys. I am going to get these guys on the wrist for a little bit and uh, see how they feel, get some pictures. Guys, also, at the end of this, I'm going to post up some time lapses of these watches. I'm going to post up some pictures of the Luma on these watches, so definitely check them out. Guys, this is not a Kickstarter campaign that you guys want to miss out on. Um, if you like divers, if you like the looks of these divers, definitely jump into it. Um, for me, personally, the pricing that it's set at is a really, really good price point for the quality of these watches. And then you throw in a watch winder at the end. Personally, I, I, I don't think you can go wrong. Anyway, guys, I am going to get out of here. Don't forget to stick around, check out these time lapses. Don't forget to post up in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of these Torst Divers from South Baltimore. Guys, like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. Thank you guys very much, and we will catch you next week.